is a welterweight matchup between Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. So here's the proud rep of the 209, Stockton, California zone, the Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter, Nate Diaz. Had a lot of big moments in the UFC, but of course none bigger than the submission win over Conor McGregor at UFC 196. And now the big paydays have started to follow, rightfully so, for a guy who has one of the bigger fan bases of anyone on this UFC roster. Nate Diaz is a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu fighter with an impressive record of submission victories. He's also got a very active and effective boxing style. Good for him to throw a huge number of strikes while this fight is on the feet. Dating to 2003, here is the fighter's fighter and UFC welterweight contender, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, arguably the greatest mixed martial arts athlete the state of Florida has ever produced, a man considered by many to be the best pure boxer on this UFC roster. But let's not denigrate the other parts of his game, Joe. This is a well-rounded five-tool player fighting out of the American Top Team Academy in Coconut Creek, Florida. This guy has some of the best guard passing in all of mixed martial arts. His technique and the speed of his execution is outstanding. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Masvidal is one year the elder. Diaz will have a two-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, her game. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC walk-away division. It's a disaster. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now he plays his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this morning. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, this building has hosted some of the biggest fights in boxing history, and now MMA making its presence felt. We are underway and ready for live action here at Madison Square Garden in the heart of New York City. So we get another look at Nate Diaz tonight, more than 10 years on the roster. Outstanding boxer, great finishing instincts with his jiu-jitsu game as well, and heart for days. I mean, sometimes you feel like without a weapon, it's going to be hard to get Nate Diaz out of it. Masvidal gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, so here we go with round one. The jiu-jitsu practitioner and submission specialist will probably go for the early takedown attempt here. You know, we watch this fight on the ground. He doesn't want to hang out on the feet, standing on a napkin in the center of the octagon. He's got to try to take this fight down and set up one of his vaunted submissions. Oh, nice. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Body kick now by Gamebred. 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice punch there by Diaz. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Ooh. Looks like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Diaz. Big punch. The spinning back fist lands. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, slips the punch there, Joe. Follows it up with a nice combination. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Diaz. Working off the jab, it's good. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, tagged him. Masvidal gets the takedown. Useful. In full guard here. Effective punch there by Diaz. He's putting his hands down on the thighs. He's looking to pass. He's going to try to take the back. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. Nice spinning attack to the body. Lands for him. Finds his range with the jab. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Good exchanges from both fighters. Horns out for the end of round one. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Round two here. All right, round two underway. Round one pretty entertaining. Not the greatest round of the year per se, but pretty good action on both sides. Joe Rogan, your thoughts on what we saw from either fighter through those first five minutes? Nate Diaz. Oh! He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. And now starting to snap off that jab. Oh, he's landed some good shots here. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Can we show you the total strikes? Really missed with that right hand. Good straight left. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh! oh! This could be it! Nice Looks jab. like it did stun oh, him a little bit. He is through a haymaker. Oh, he might be out. Now a right hand. Once again, establishing the jab here. Oh! Oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! He's got him hurt here. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Oh! Wow! Oh! Oh, that's it! It's that's over! Cool. Beautiful knockout. Beautiful timing and execution for a knockout blow. Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. And here's the end of the fight.
Let's take a look at that again. Watch this again here. Boom. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate Diaz! All right, so another big win for Nate Diaz here tonight, and I think more importantly, this sets him up for a massive opportunity now moving forward. Perhaps even a title shot at 155 pounds. Nate Diaz has made a career of defying the odds, rising to the occasion, and he certainly did that tonight in a matchup that people thought maybe was stacked against him. So congratulations to Nate Diaz. You can be sure they are celebrating in the 209 and beyond after the big win for Nate Diaz here tonight. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You got to touch. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it.